Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's give me 30. Look, until I earn my spot. Yeah. I'm reach until I earn my spot and keep writing these vibes. Check until I earn my spot. I'm reach until I earn my spot and keep writing these vibes. Check yeah. until I earn my spot. Gallon. Old head vibes. Old head vibes. Sorry, Mario. Yo, 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 yo. What's good? What's yeah, good? five years till you start. He's 25. Oh, hey. What's up, everybody? This is Gimme 30 with the 30. 30 episode 30. Zero, two, four. The big Kobe episode, man. Rest in peace, Kobe. It's the big Kobe episode. What's up, Dallas? What's up, North Texas? We coming at you live from the living room, my living room. We just kicking back today. No guests. Taking it real easy. Happy New Year to all you guys out there. Happy New Year to all the subscribers, followers, all y'all that have been rocking with us. And y'all are here again and have, you know, joined another year of this journey with the Av. We appreciate y'all for real, for real. Um, hope... Uh, you have a blessed year. Uh, I got my co-host in the house, of course. You already know who it is. Trey Jackson, a.k.a. Wolf Play 13. You did. Yes, sir. And, of course, this is your host, Russ Maurice, a.k.a. The Black James Bond. You already know. You already know. And like I said, we don't have a guest, man, so we just going to kind of be all over the place. But hang with us. Hang with us. So how you feeling, man? How's... How's everything? How's the new year so far? I'm MBJ? as good as I look. Say that again? I'm as good as I look. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I can dig that. I can dig that. Well, before I forget, this episode, shout out the boy Montel, man, is sponsored by Simple Co. Negro League Fitted, y'all. Y'all go check them out. Please go support, man. Go support small business for real. All 2021. Go support. Uh, can you, y'all can see that? Yeah, there we go. Appreciate that. Like I said, this episode is sponsored by Simple Co. Negro League Fitteds. He has a few uh, styles and colors, different flavors for you out there. Y'all go get in touch with that, man. Y'all remember episode one, right? Yep. That's the boy, man. So shout out to you. Um, Av Life 2. Av Ooh. Life 2. About to drop. That it's shit OT crazy. Dub. OT Dub. By the time y'all see this episode, it'll already be out. So if you haven't seen it, go click that right now. And Big go facts. look at the year 2020 with the Av. We had a really great time. Um, I know you've gotten a chance to see some of it. I have. Oh, yeah. What you think about everything? How's it looking? I'm loving it. Me too. It's making a... It brought some light to the year, for honestly. For it me. did, bro. It did. I had to. I had to text Asia last night and let her know. Like, it's amazing how you captured all this mm-hmm. on video, and it's really a blessing. Like, you know, not everyone is blessed to have somebody as talented as Asia to come follow them around. Big fact. Why they just doing? We ain't famous, you know what I'm saying? Like, don't nobody know us like that yet. But shit, they gonna the watch that. They gonna look, watch that. Like, all like, oh, these motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? That's why. That's why I was looking at the shit. I was like, who are these niggas? Like, bro, it, it's lit, y'all. You know, so go, 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 peep that. Go peep that. Um, that song at the beginning, speaking of the Av shit, was the boy DK. It's called Earn My Spot. I know y'all wondering, like, when we gonna get some DK music, man? We getting all these clips and bits and pieces, man. We want the whole thing. What's up? It's on the way. I promise y'all, done. okay? Like, if you saw on the Av life, like I said, you cannot um, rush perfection. He just you know needs a couple saying? scratches and screws in it, you know what I'm saying? For real, for real. For real, for real. We got the NFL playoffs going right here while we're doing the episode. Like I said, it's real, real chill vibe, man. Real chill vibe. Uh, so the first thing I want to really get into in the show is this thing I call interesting tweets. So it's my phone. Get that ready to go. So the first tweet that I saw, and of course, we're going to pull this up for you people. Um, he says... It's unfortunate so many Dallas artists keep investing into merch. No one is buying. 
I prom I promise y'all would see more return if you invest that money in other areas. Mm hmm. And betray. Before I give my response, what you think about that tweet? Um, I mean, I understand where he's coming from, but at the same time, like, I also understand that a lot of the artists do it because that's gonna give them more faces, or I guess people like more people just to view them. Because not some somebody might not like your music, but they're gonna see your clothing and fuck with your clothing. So like, that's I understand that, and I mean, I you think, think it, yeah, you think these hardworking Dallas artists are wasting their money on their craft, on the thing they love to do? No, it's never a waste of money if you're uh, trying to push something that you love. I mean, that's just the way I view it. I mean, look at us, we we ain't that big, but we still be pushing our merch. Right, man. I didn't take that as a shot personally to to us or our group, yeah. but I was just thinking about all the other hardworking artists out there that they might really love putting out merch and clothes, exactly. and they might have like a little fashion taste. And I feel like it's a slap in the face, to be quite Shit, honest. Who, who could have said that? The tweet is very yeah. head ass. To like, be very honestly, honest, honestly, like the person who's making music, their original dream could have been to be a clothes designer. But then they just realize, like, oh, shit, like, I'm really good at this music. I can really get this shit popping off. So fuck it. Why don't I do, just do my dream or my other dream while I'm doing this, you know? Right. So. Right. So I get where you're coming from. In a way, I understand. I don't really understand where he was coming from on that tweet, to I be honest. I kind of really. understand because like, you got to think, like, who say you don't go get, like, 100 shirts made? You sell like four of the most. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you excited. You sold some shirts. You got like you got people investing in you. But at the same time, like you could have literally just put that money into something else, like promoing or like just into stocks. You know, just random shit like that. But I mean, I don't know. Me personally, I think if if that's something you want to do, go and do it. Chase your damn dream. Exactly. That's pretty much exactly what I was going to say, man. I was going to say uh, to all the creatives out there, don't let stuff like that um, discourage you. You know what I'm saying? If it's something that you truly believe in, that you're pushing and you're trying to, you know, get to the next step. Like if you feel like that's that's the area you love, like keep pushing that shit for real. I didn't really like the tweet, but I mean. If the person who tweeted it sees this and gets upset, bro, like, it was your personal opinion. You put it on Twitter, my nigga. So, whatever. That's what it is. Get mad if you want to. So, uh, next tweet, man. I, I, I don't know who that tweeted this either, but I saw it. And no disrespect to Sean Cotton at all. But he said, Sean Cotton created 90%. Let me repeat that before I finish the tweet. 90, 9 zero. That's 10 away from 100%, people, if you don't understand percentages. 90% of the rap scene today, black history. Like I said, I'm not trying to take nothing away from Sean Cotton at all. I'm not saying he's not, you know, a legend, historic, whatever you want to call it, but it's cap to me. What you think? Oh, yeah, most definitely. <laughs> He definitely had a big role on the rap industry, like a big, big for role. sure, one hundred percent. I would agree to that. Ninety percent, nah. Should look at Gucci Man still signing artists. That's and he's still putting out his music. That's him putting in uh, in work on that. I mean, how many other major company like artists have that? Like, should look uh, Lil Baby. He he has a uh, fucking artist signed. Yeah. So I mean, I don't know. Uh, fucking dub baby got his little artist, his music. I don't think ninety percent is just too high. Yeah, like that's just way too high. Like, like that's a lot. Like in the forty percent pop, probably of right now, the rap yeah. scene right now, mm -hmm. like, still pretty strong. But I mean, yeah, it's a I lot mean, less than ninety. Yeah, I, mean, I don't know. Honestly, a lot of the artists that he do promote, I I don't really listen to a lot of them. Not saying that they're not good because they are good artists and I do fuck with their music. It's just for sure. I don't know. I just honestly, it's probably more just I don't really have the time to, to truly like invest into. You you know, Spot him, got him. No, I don't know Spot him, got him. Is. Okay, yeah. I mean, that's a Sean Khan artist. I fuck with him. He's a uh, he got one song kind of going crazy right now. It's called a uh, Beatbox, I believe. 
It's, and then, you know, they're doing that little, little challenge to it. <laughs> you never seen that? I mean, I honestly probably saw it, but, like, I don't know. I just I don't really pay attention too much to that kind of stuff right now. So, in Betray, what do you pay attention to? Honestly, I, I just started my new job, so, like, I've been just trying to pay attention. Congrats to, to my boy, man. I forgot about that. My yeah, man, Trey, you. just thank you. got him a big boy job, man, going crazy. Yeah, Fuck with it, bro. I don't worry about cutting myself like I did <laughs> the last week but, of my other job. But you recovered <laughs> quickly, though. Yeah, that shit healed up, you know. It's all good. Good shit, man. Good shit. So, since we was on Twitter... Already, I'll go ahead and uh, slide into this next subject I've been wanting to bring up like all week and speak about. Mm-hmm. Man, I know you saw what happened at the Capitol building. Most definitely. The Ignorance. world saw that, I'm sure. Ignorance. I know the nation saw that. Bro, That what they did just make made us look weak as fuck. And like just because of that, why, I don't see why another like nation would not come try to like take over as well. Like, oh yeah, yeah. From like, I, I get um, what you're saying. Like they see that on TV and they're yeah, like, like, they're like security oh, is their own. It. Their own people got in. Like, what well, without without any guns or anything? What if we went over there with guns and this, this and this? Like, why, why could we not get in? I feel like at that point, we all know why we didn't see. That type of like you know violence happened to yeah, these protesters. Yeah, most definitely. But now we're talking about a foreign, someone that is not American coming to one of those buildings. That's when they're gonna go into like st- have the military involved and gonna start. Yeah, like, I, I chopping they definitely down. have the military come in and everything. Because I mean, I guarantee, like, what I'm trying to say is, I don't think they'll be successful. Versus, I don't know. You, ver- versus the protesters. Yeah, but I mean, they're fucking no. Motherfuckers is crazy. That shit is but crazy. Yeah, I'm not even sure. Protests, if we... Like they just made us look weak and dumb as fuck. Like Donald Trump for allowing that. The, all the cops that were literally opening up the gates and shit for them to come in, bro. Like that shit bullshit. But That's, when the Black Lives Matter, at all. like where was the tear gas and the fucking rubber bullets and shit? Like we can't have a Black Lives Matter protest anywhere in the country. I agree. But I they agree. can like they can storm into the White House, take a bunch of pictures, destroy the fucking place. I agree. Like, I wanna I wanna show you something, and I didn't respond to this guy. He sent me. I'm gonna read this to y'all real quick. But uh, he said, um, "I'm gonna keep him anonymous too, just for his sake." Uh, he said. I don't support Black Lives Matter movement, not because I don't support black lives. If you know me, I'm a sarcastic asshole to everyone equally. I could give a fuck less the color of your skin. But nah, I don't like the movement because they make it all about social injustice and they don't address the biggest issues in black America. I'm like, and this is someone that is not black. So I'm kind of like, okay, I'm sorry, sir. As a black yeah. guy, what's the biggest issue in black America since you know so much? But I bring that up to say, like, bro, it's a clear difference in the treatment of the BLM movement versus most definitely the support for Trump and all this crazy. There was going a complete on. difference on why, like, the protests were going on. Like, the Black Lives Matter were protesting for equality. They were just protesting because the president fucking lost the election. Like, what... He can run again in four years. Like what the fuck I highly like, doubt he's he's gonna be back ever. Oh, after like, all this, there's no way that after all he's this, gonna, most definitely. And if he does try, uh, he's just gonna look stupid. Yeah, I was about to say that. He got not, didn't, he got banned off of basically the whole fucking internet. Mm-hmm. Like it's just kind of yeah. weird. They waited all the way to the end of his his presidency to do that shit. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Like it should have been like two, three years ago that Big he should have got banned from shit. Like that's yeah. crazy to me. But it just shows you more of like, okay, what they will allow. What do you uh but what do you think about him trying to trying to start up his own like newscast? I've heard about that shit. I won't be watching. I didn't really keep up with Donald Trump that much when he was in office. I didn't either, but yeah, this one's basically supposed to like Call out like the Illuminati, Pizzagate. I'm gonna be time. honest with you. I'm not really too interested in what that man has to say. No, I get you. I get that. Like I, I he's he's proven himself on multiple occasions to not be yeah. the sharpest tool in the in the drawer. Like straight up. That's fact. So what do I look like he's listening to that dumbass? 
And uh, not only that, like, I feel like some of the stuff he was talking about, talking about, is top secret shit. Mm-hmm. And he would get in a lot of fucking trouble. Like, and wasn't so he like, part of some of this top secret shit, man? Yeah, facts. Jeffrey like, Epstein, hello. Like, like this you know what I'm straight, saying? Like, this nigga is straight. Dead, wasn't he at bro. that island? Or am I wrong? I I didn't see his name on there. I don't, I don't know. Oh, he had I didn't pictures get see, with this man. I didn't get. To, I didn't. I was just. I didn't see all the names okay. and all the pictures of everything. Yeah, I did see a lot of people on there that I was very surprised to see though. Shit, crazy man. Shit, crazy than motherfucking for real. So, man, I know we do this. What tw- we did this like what twice now? What's your uh, What's your biggest goal for the AV for the twenty one man? Hold on, what was it last year? Do you remember? It's actually about to be the same thing. Okay, then go ahead. But that's just because with Corona and everything. I know. Yeah, we had a lot of changes and shit last year. Yeah, like I still want. I still want to get a festival for that. I want. I want us to have a festival. But now, they are allowing that kind of stuff more. Mm -hmm. I'm noticing that. I do feel like we could possibly get one to go on. Where it's just gonna be very hard, and I know it's I like what I want. I want it to be where like the max amount of people can go, but I know that's not gonna be able to happen. But at the same time, I do at least want to start somewhere. So, I feel that man. I hope we can get that popping, even if it's like not that many people with you know guidelines and everything. Um, I hope we can exactly. do so. I'm, I'm already kind of looking at places for us to do some shit like that. By oh, the yeah. way, I don't know if you heard of IK Studios, but that might be the spot. Oh yeah, that'd be dope. You see uh Congo's uh fashion show? I did. I did, man. It's crazy. Actually, one of the people from the film, shout out Mike B, by the way, if you're listening to this, but he actually hit me up and was like, Man, Russ, I just want to tell you, bro, I appreciate you and just the fact that I met you and met Congo, like just you don't even realize like Congo's actually gave me like a life changing opportunity, my first modeling opportunity. Like he just got real deep. Oh yeah. And I didn't even realize I made the connection like that. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, but yeah, it I was feel just that. like, damn, bro. Um, I bring that up because it's like, bro, that's what life is about. Like helping people for real, bro. Like people like, yes, we all focused on ourselves and what we got going, but you gotta you don't know what you don't realize what you're really doing to help help no, people out that. and make connections. Congrats, Congo, bro, on the photo shoot. Much love, big dog. Uh, speaking of Congo, everybody, for everybody that follows me on Twitter, you probably already know what's up. And we've already announced this once already. But Kane 2 is the thing, y'all. My goal is Ooh. to get that released by fall time this year again. I don't know when. It might be September, October, November. I don't know. We'll just see how everything lays out. But if you liked one and loved one, you are going to love too, Two gonna go crazy. Yeah, we we bringing the intensity on that shit way way up, way way up. So, Trey, man, who you think is gonna be like the top three Dallas in the North Texas? Oh, excuse me, the top three artists in the North Texas area that's gonna be like most popping. Like, you know how they give like the most improved yeah, yeah, player yeah. award um, in the NBA? Damn. Who you see getting it out the mud this year, like, finally? I wouldn't even say finally. Like, you know what I'm saying? They just getting popping. Um, shit, that's a hard-ass question. Just because I, I don't really... What about your boy, Bugatti? You, you still fucking with him? Yeah, I still be fucking with him. Um, I mean, yeah, he'll probably... I don't know, he'll probably stay in about the same spot. I feel like the little C, uh, CJ gonna keep going up. Uh... Tuzi gonna keep going up. Yeah, man. Where is Tuzi, bro? I haven't. He had he dropped the ashes to ashes. Okay. Uh, after that, he hadn't put nothing out, but the ashes ashes went hard. I know you probably didn't check it out, but I didn't. Yeah, I was gonna say I didn't gonna lie to you. I haven't, man. I, I haven't not. really been keeping up with. It's a lot of music out there, bro. We Hell live yeah, in the age true. right now where it's new shit coming out about ten. Mixtapes, albums, and Bro. songs every like thirty minutes to an hour. Like. Every Friday, there's at least that's when they dump that, music. Yeah, that's when music they already dump, comes yeah. out every day, but that's when they dump. Like when they truly dump everything on Fridays, probably like what, like ten albums. 
like four or five singles, like and then a bunch of mixtapes and EPs, all that. Like it's crazy. Yeah, that shit's wild, man. So uh is Kanye and Kim getting divorced or what's going on? Probably. So do you believe the whole <laughs> no. Kanye West and Jeffree no. Star thing? I don't believe that. Um Jeffy Star even came out and said that like that wasn't even a thing. They he didn't know how like that even became a rumor. Yeah, that I, Kim's I actually that uh, the story. girl who started the rumor on her TikTok. Kim is actually suing her mm. for it. Damn. Yeah. I th- when I saw that, I just fucking died laughing. Like, I mean, you started some bullshit. I mean, get get what you deserve. It's crazy, man. It's crazy, bro. For real. Who you trying to see on Give Me 30? Ooh, who am I trying to see on Give Me 30? This year. Besides DK. I never said I wanted to see DK on here. Damn. That's, <laughs> that's fucked up. <laughs> nah, <No>, just play. <laughs> DK still going to be on the show, though, y'all. Yeah, yeah. DK definitely be out here. We're just... That's we're, the brad us. We're, for, we're forcing him to drop all his music and shit first before yeah, he steps foot on the Give Me 30 stage. We putting our foot on his neck so he can uh, put his foot on y'all's neck. Right. Mm-hmm. Tough love. But for real, man. Uh, but who I want to get on, give me 30. <sighs> Honestly, I really want to have a show where we just walk the street and we just talk to just a bunch of random people and just you know, ask, talk to them about music and what they're into and like that type of shit. Just because I feel like we are going to do that. Yeah. That, that, that's what that. I want to do. I don't really. I, there's no one specific I want to have on the show, though. I feel to you. Be honest. Who was your favorite episode last year? Ooh. Top three. Top three. Your top three. Okay. Um, shit. Uh, I'll say. Uh, Vaughn. Okay. Uh that's number three. No, nah, that'll be or no order. No, nah, he'll no nah, I'll put yeah, Vaughn will probably be three. Cause I was just cause like the freestyle he had just was too fucking hard. Uh shit. Uh I don't know why I'm going blank on his name right now. Uh what number hurt. was it? Oh hurt. hurt. That's number yeah, two. Her, okay. Yeah, okay. Her get number two. Shout out her GTH, uh, baby. And then uh, Victor Pope probably be number one. Cause I've, I was I was excited we got that nigga on the show. That's what's up, man. That's what's up. I like I like those choices right there. How about for you? Yeah, my my top three would be. Um, I put Victor Pope at number three. That'd be my number three. Um, I put Coach Tev at number two. I love the way that we ended the year. That shit was nice. Oh, and yeah. His freestyle, man. Like he, he set a, the bar for twenty one. Oh like, yeah, and he, he did. Twenty one, y'all better be coming hot in this hoe. And um, of course, number one, I gotta put my man Herc at number one, bro. Cause like just the oh, yeah. just the vibe from yeah, that, that man, bro. Yeah, that was a good ass vibe episode. And before the show, bro. It, it, he was, he's been like family type shit, mm-hmm. like just a connection. And then like even after the show, bro, because which, you know, nothing against none of the artists or none of the people we've had on the show. But most of the time, you know, I get on the show this is probably the last time we talk mm-hmm. after that. But, you know, some of these people I have like genuine relationships with still to this oh, yeah. day. So I can always, like I said, me and Herc was like. Bros. And he honestly, I feel like he probably showed some of the most love. Oh, everybody. for sure, for sure. He shows a lot of love to give me oh, thirty. Yeah. Shout out her GTH once again, man. Sure. But, so, what do you think about Little Baby selling the most records last year? I'm I'm not shocked at all. That sounds yeah. that sounds valid to me. That sounds. Yeah. I mean, you got to think how popular he's been all of 2020. Mm-hmm. His album numbers. And when they were, you know, having the protest and and riots and stuff like yeah, that, the with the George, picture. yeah, 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 he yeah. had a record that pretty much like touched on that that time period, so that was perfect for oh, yeah. his buzz and everything. Honestly, I was surprised 
uh, Young Boy didn't uh, sell more than him, but that's just because that nigga Young Boy put out what like six albums or something like that, like some ridiculous. I'm like keeping that. up with Young Boy. You know that though. Yeah, I know. Yeah, he's too old. I do not be. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> It's just not that like I don't fuck with them like that. Yeah, it's, man. I just no. When you hit when you hit thirty, that music just don't hit the same, you know. I'm not fucking thirty. <laughs> I'm twenty seven, bro. But anyways, shit, um, man, right over that. Slope, shut bro. your ass up. <laughs> anyways, uh, so NFL playoffs is going on right now, people. I am so sorry if your team's not in it. Ours isn't. We didn't even make it in there. Number six, six draft pick. Yes. Yeah, hopefully we don't fuck it up either. Man, you already know we most likely will. Don't say that, man. You got to be positive. But I think but, we're gonna get um, that the dude from LSU, Chase, or um, we're gonna get um, what's it, Devonta, Devonte Smith. Okay. But I feel like he's gonna get picked before number most six. Most likely, yeah. So the Heisman always gets picked pretty early. So. Oh man, man, man. But like I said, NFL playoffs is going on. Who you got going to Super Bowl? Honestly, Titans are out of it now. Yeah. Um, um, who else is that? Washington football team's out of it now. Seahawks out of it now. There's nobody that I'm just like, oh, like I hope they go. It's just I feel. You. I think it's gonna be uh, Chiefs and Packers. I think it's gonna be Aaron Rodgers versus one. Patrick Mahomes. I think that'd be a good game. I think it will be too. Yeah. But we'll see. We'll see. We'll see if the Saints survive. Um, NBA season's going on, too. And uh, Trey's not a Rockets fan anymore. Russell Westbrook has left, guys. He is he a Wizards see fan. see later, bye. How you like your new Wizards? Honestly, I haven't even got to watch a basketball game yet. Damn. Yeah, I have, uh, since I started my new job, like, I don't be getting home till like, damn near 9 o'clock. And I got to be up by, like, 5, so... I they get home, eat, and just go right to sleep. Yeah. I feel it, man. Yeah, it is what it. it is. It's a big dad business, man. I oh, get yeah. It. But before we wrap up, you know how we do, man. You got any shout outs? Got anything to say to the people, bro? Shout out to the Ad family. Shout out to all of our subscribers and followers. We love y'all. Please like, subscribe, and share. Share. Yes, sir. And that, uh, shout out to my baby. That's all I got for today. What's up, man? What's up? I know this episode's been kind of dry, y'all, but, hey, if y'all rock with us, I love y'all, for real. That's love. Big if you facts. really rock with us through these episodes where it's just me and him, man, you are a true give me 30 head, and I fuck with you, for real. Big facts. For real. Let me know if that's you, too. By the way, I'll send a little something to the cash app. Psych, I'm not doing that. <laughs> but anyways, um, love y'all, man. How you gonna man. play them huh? like that? <laughs> How you gonna play them like that? Because half the time, they don't. Need, when I do the little cash prizes on Give Me 30, like it, it, it's like rocket science, bro. So they, nah, man, we ain't, nah. If I really, if I really love you, I might do it. But whatever, bro. Anyways, if you really showing some love, exactly. You know. If you really doing, if you really showing some love, genuine love, yeah, you know, we, we we got you up for a prize this year. I promise. But um, anyways, much love to all the subscribers, the followers, listeners, um, everyone still rocking with us here in this new year. Um, keep fucking with us, man, cause bro, we going crazy on this Black App Global page. We got DK shit coming out. Kane 2, um, Av Life 2, and um, yeah, that's really it. It's really all I can announce right now. Whatever else you see pop up there, uh, yeah, check the shit out. But yeah, shout out to the Av family. Love y'all. Shout out to my family. Um, love y'all too. And uh, that's it. Shout out to Living Room Studios, man. Shout out to us, 2021. For letting us shoot completely free today. And shout out Mario on the audio, yeah. always, and joining us for another year of Give Me 30. And shout out Asia for dealing with all the bullshit. Still and making us look good. 
And we got DK on the other camera too, man. Getting his camera cameraman credits in. I, I he like ain't it. that good, but you know. Why, why you keep doing that, man? <laughs> Everything I say about DK, you got to say some negative. Let me wrap this shit up, man. man he always hots out on me. I can do it back now. <laughs> it's, it is Give Me 30 with the 30. This is episode 024. We love y'all. Oh! And this is your boy DK. Earn my spot. Check it. Look, it's a lot Give me 30. With the dirty 30. Yes, sir. Check it. Until I earn my spot. I'm a reach until I earn my spot. And keep writing these rhymes. Check it. Until I earn my spot.